Right, so today we are looking at an application known as PhotoWall. Now the idea of PhotoWall is, is an application that helps you make uh, photo collages, if you will, or collage, however you want to put the emphasis on the syllables. And uh, basically you come in here, you click Create, and you just import however many images you want by clicking on this button up here. So I'm just going to grab all, all these surfing pictures and open them up. And then you can see here it has positioned them all onto this blank workspace. Now once you have got all your photos that you want onto your workspace, you can pick them up and you can move them around, rotate them in, and enlarge them however you like, and just arrange them in a way that is, uh, that is you know, stylish or however you want to do it. And, uh, and that way you just have a very nice, um, you have some very nice reflections that uh, that uh, displayed just beneath the photos on the grey background. And then once you're done, you export them to well, whatever format you want, really. Then you can also uh, uh, you can also adjust things like the captions. So uh, I'm just going to say something really obvious here. So honestly, this is quite a nice um, program in that sense. But it doesn't just stop there. You can also add uh, word, word bubbles. So you right-click to edit the text that you want to put in. And then you just type away, so I could just say, uh, my surfing trip, which it isn't true because it certainly isn't me surfing. And then, uh, and then you can change the, uh, the size of that and, uh, and stick it wherever you want. So it's a very, it's a very, very easy what you see is what you get, um, uh, picture collage creator. And you can even, uh, add word clouds here, which is also pretty fun. Uh, so basically you just grab a random text file uh, or even a random piece of text and it will uh, put it in a nice groovy little word cloud for you which is pretty sweet if you can see it. Um, so it's got some interesting features here and then once you uh, you can search for web pictures or you can add a canvas um, and you can even add ones from your webcam which is pretty sweet if you have one. You can also adjust the layering so you can bring a particular picture to the front if you so wish. And, uh, and you can even adjust things like the, uh, the gradient on it, the background that surrounds the, uh, the picture. Why you put it in a love heart, I'd never know. But there you have it. You can adjust the, the various frames. So you can choose different frames for di different pictures. Quite honestly, it's very, very adaptable. Uh, you can also uh, do some basic uh, picture effects here, like inverted colors or auto blend. Just basic picture effects, really. You can crop or flip or invert them as well, which is nice. It even has links if you do have GIMP installed. You can open that image up in GIMP and go crazy. Um, but honestly, that's all there really is to this application. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. Then once you're finished, you just hit export. And you can see here that you either want it as a wallpaper, as an image. You can post it straight out with uh, PostRaiser. You can print it or you can uh, export it as an SVG, a uh, scalable vector image. So that is all very tasty indeed. It's a very simple application to use. So definitely if you've got a random album of holiday pictures that you want to put together in one picture so you can email it to someone without going over that attachment limit, this is definitely the application to check out. It is in most major distribution repos. And if not, you can check out their homepage, which I will put links in the description box. It is a cross-platform application, so there are Windows and Mac versions available and it is in most uh, Linux distribution repos. That's all for this week, and I will be back next week with another distro review.